79% of women have felt unsafe whilst exercising. That's according to new research carried out by Sky Sports News. And over the years, elite athletes have also had bad experiences, with some being harassed, stalked and even raped. Rebecca Williams has been speaking to some of them uh, and a warning the following contains content that some viewers may find distressing. In the 1990s, golfer Laura Davies was world number one. But behind the scenes, she was having to deal with something pretty terrifying. She was being stalked. He would stand just outside the ropes when I was practicing my putting with the binoculars on me and things like that. You just, people would have to go up and marshals at the course would have to go and ask him to go away. So yeah, very unsettling. And you know, after a year or so, you see them a lot and it starts to become a little bit more. And then stuff started getting sent through the post that was a bit weird. And the LPJ were really good. The FBI, they have a, I guess, a task force that deals with stuff like that. They profiled him and he was asked not to come back after that. And we never saw him again, but certainly for two or three years, it was, it was quite unsettling. And it's not just elite sports women that are affected. Exclusive Sky Sports News data has found that 79% of females surveyed have felt unsafe whilst exercising. 7% had actually experienced sexual or physical abuse. 43% have been harassed whilst working out. And that's something international runner Brianna Linnington Payne knows about only too well. I think I was kind of bent over forwards, just trying to breathe and recover. Um, and a group of lads, I think they were quite young, rolled down the window, shouted something about the fact that I was wearing really tight-fitting kit and about my figure and threw an empty beer can out the window at me. Over the years, runners have certainly been the subject of unwanted attention. Former Olympian Jennifer Stout was a victim of stalking. And she also had some nasty experiences after rising to fame as rebel on the hit TV show, The Gladiators. The fan mail was always something that you was always in two minds of whether to open. We did get some really bad comments, racist comments, um, really sort of like abusive ones um, about how you look and the way that you are. As soon as I saw the first two or three words, and if they weren't towards my taste, I would just rip it up and throw it away. There are so many high profile female athletes that have made it to the very top of their sport, but it doesn't always come easy. Cathy Brown was a poster girl of British boxing in the 1990s. You walk in at the gyms and people almost snigger in the fact that you'd walked into the gym as a woman to fight. Um, they, nobody took you seriously. And they, I think even back in the day, you were, you were encouraged in the media to take your clothes off, um, have some, like, no top on with a pair of boxing gloves. And I never wanted to take any serious pictures of you. It always had to be topless or very sexy shots. Cathy was just a second woman in the UK to get her professional boxing licence. But it was a horrific experience that got her into the sport in the first place. There was a point in my life where I was pursued by um, a man um, quite aggressively. I was walking in an area that there was, it was quite dark. And I've, he pulled me into a, a place which was away from people and uh, he, raped, he raped me quite badly and um, I can't really remember too much from the evening because I was in absolute, I was in absolute shock. I got to the stage where I just thought I, I just have to run away from where I am. I have to give up everything in my life right now and I have to move and I moved a long way away. That move led Cathy to boxing. Wanting to turn her ordeal into a positive, she's now working with the Lotus Flower Charity to teach the sport to refugees in places like Iraq. It is no doubt a concern that in this country, a majority of women appear to have had fears about their own personal safety whilst working out. And it seems that elite athletes are certainly not immune to it. Rebecca Williams, Sky Sports. And if you need any further information on the issues raised in that story, please see the organisations listed on this page you can see at the bottom of your screen, uh, www.sky.com forward slash help forward slash articles forward slash viewer support.